We just checked in. It's about 4.30 in the morning. These are all the early birds right here. We had to wait on the gate to, uh, to open. Here, picking up a load of shingles. I don't know if you can see them. They're stacked up everywhere. We're uh, we're in Dallas. We're picking up and going to Round Rock. And uh, don't have a load coming back yet, so I'm gonna find one on the way down there. Hopefully, it's always hard getting a load out of Austin area coming back to Dallas. But normally, you gotta find them that day, book them pick them up and deliver they don't have a lot of loads that they post and you, know, you pick them up the next day or whatever it's it's always the same day I guess since everybody's always looking for loads they post them last minute but uh yeah let's uh, sit here and wait I'll get loaded and show you the strapped up load and then we'll hit the road all right we're all loaded up strapped up edge protectors it's about 6 30. I don't start loading until 5. I know we were checking in at 4.30, but I'm going to wait about 30 minutes. And they slowly start coming out, getting truck after truck, taking their sweet time. So about two hours. But yeah, shingles, flatbed, it's always heavy load. Truck is super dirty, though. Super dirty. You can't even tell. It's blue. Tried to get it washed this morning. Drove by Blue Beacon, but at four o'clock there are already trucks in line. I don't want to wait. Oh, she's dirty. All right, well let's get on the road. See what happens.
picking up in uh, McGregor, going to Princeton. Just so gonna get uh, get out of here and go pick that up. Oh, look how dirty she is. Loaded, strapped up, ready to go. All these uh, crane mats, Got a full load. A million pounds right here. Oh, wait, look at the money pit, all dirty. Man, I'm gonna get her cleaned up. All right, let's hit the road and head to uh, Princeton. All right, we made it to Princeton with our load. I thought I was going to get killed by all these because uh, some idiot slammed on their brakes in traffic. Not really slammed on their brakes, but cut me off and I had to slam on my brakes. They all slid forward. Let's see if I can show you. Get a load down. Uh, you kind of see it crooked. They were straight and pointing back. You should see my straps. My straps were crooked. That gave it away. Idiots always want to cut a big truck off, you know? Oh man, a money pit, I swear. I'm gonna try and get it washed tomorrow morning. Hopefully there won't be a line. But uh, yeah, I'm in Princeton. Gonna get unloaded and head back to the shop. So uh, it's about 4.30. I'll be driving back about five rush hour traffic. What would take me about 45 50 minutes to get home probably take me about two hours now two hours that's ridiculous all right i'll catch you on another one